Hi, in this particular example, we're going to learn how to calculate new columns. You can see I'm looking at a, a county layer map, a county level map of a feature class for North Carolina counties where I've mapped the field POP 2010. Now, if I right mouse click and open my attribute table, or you can see a number of different columns that I have here. And this is taken from my SF1 data, so information about race, ethnicity, housing status, and, and uh, population counts and, and gender. And what I want to do is I want to calculate something called sex ratio, which is the number of males for every 100 females. So it's a good indicator to see how many males per females live in a particular county. And so there's no sex ratio column here, so I can make one up myself. And so if I go all the way to the right here, I've got you can see I've got my population, I've got my um, I've got my race, I've got my ethnicity, and I've got a column here, one for males and one for females. So I can derive and create a new column doing this. Now I can go to my context menu here. I can add a field here. There's a couple ways to add fields. Or I can go over here to my fields view as well. But I can go to add field. And it'll take me to my fields view. And I'm going to make something here called sex ratio. Okay, My data type is going to be a double. Okay. Basically, double means that it's going to have decimal points here. If I were to make it a long or a short, we'd get rid of the decimal points because we don't allocate space for decimal points in long and short integers. And just for the heck of it here, I'm going to make, make sure this is numeric. And we're going to save it to six decimal places here. Okay, and up at the top under my uh, new field, I'm going to save this. X out of my fields view go all the way to the right and you should see a sex ratio. So I'm going to right mouse click. I can sort, unsort. Well, I'm going to just calculate a new field here. And so you can see I've got my sex ratio. My pi, the expression is going to be fairly easy here. I'm going to multiply, um, multiply, divide, add, subtract, equal. Um, I can add a number of things here, but I'm just going to look for males. And you can see I have added in here males times 100 divided by female. So this attribute times 100 divided by females. And I'm going to click apply. And there we go. And so now you can see my sex ratio ranges from 124. So there's 124 males for every 100 females down to 86. And if I wanted to, I can make statistics out of these. But I'm going to go back and map these. So I can click on appearance, symbology, graduated colors. And now I can go down to the bottom, click on my sex ratio here and make these uh, quantile. And now you can see where there's more males for every 100 females versus more um, uh, females for every 100 males. So now you can see my sex ratio here created from a brand new column.